if you pay people over $17 an hour tax-free to stay home and not work, there are going to be fewer people working. It's not rocket science. Because he said it's keeping people from taking a job, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss wanted to end the $300 per week extra unemployment payments, but Republicans in his chamber failed to get enough votes to override Governor Evers' veto of a bill to do just that. But does the extra money that expires in September actually act as a disincentive to work? To that question, we turn to labor economist and associate director of COWS, formerly known as the Center on Wisconsin Strategy. What's really going on in this labor market is we've just had a once in a century, we hope, pandemic. Um, our labor, uh, we contracted dramatically and the workforce, the number of jobs we have today is still 100,000, more than 100,000 fewer than we did um, in February of 20, uh, I mean, in February 2020. And so the, and we've all faced incredible choices about work and our families and our health. And we are all figuring that out. I think all that is going on. The unemployment insurance benefit, the increase to that literally helped people stay in their homes, literally helped people keep food on their tables. It still is doing that work that is so important. And to act as if that if we take that money away, that will bring a flood to this labor market, which has always had, you know, has the longstanding um, shortages uh, or longstanding shrinkage. Um, you know, I think that just misplaces what the issues, what the complexity of the issues holding people a little bit away from work these days. Is.